everyone, this is the Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation which is in linear form. So, let's get going. Problem, solve dy by dx plus y into tan x equals to cos cube x. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y tan x equals to cos cube x. Consider the given equation as equation 1. Since the given equation is in standard form of linear equation, right? Which is in standard form of linear equation. So dy by dx plus py equals to q is a standard form of linear equation. Right. The quotient of dy by dx is one and you're having p into y equals to q right comparing these two we'll get p and q where p equals to tan x and q equals to cos cube x we are given a linear differential equation which is in one Right. Now, we'll find the integrating factor. We know that integrating factor is given by e power integral p dx which is equal to e power integral for p equals to tan x into dx. Integral tan x dx. You're having integral tan x dx, right? Which is equals to sin x by cos x. Compare this with integral f dash of x by f of x into dx, which is equals to log mod f of x plus integral constant c. Right. For f of x equals to cos x, consider this cos x as f of x, then the derivative of cos x is minus sin x, right. In order to apply this formula, we need a minus here, so for that purpose we'll use minus into minus. Take one minus outside the integral and one minus inside the integral, then you'll get minus integral minus sin x by cos x into dx which is equal to minus integral f dash of x by f of x into dx is equal to you can apply this formula okay log mod f of x for f of x cos x okay which is equal to we know that m log n can be written as log n power m then you can write minus log cos x as simply write this minus as minus 1 into log cos x which is equal to log cos x power minus 1. Okay. Since m log n equals to log n power m, then you can write minus 1 log cos x as log cos x power minus 1. So therefore, integral tan x is 
log cos x inverse which is equals to log 1 by cos x. So, we will not remember integral tan x formula all the time, okay. In that case, we can solve like this. Is equals to e power integral tan x dx is log 1 by cos x, which is equals to, we know that e power log some function of x is equals to function of x. Then, you can write this as function of x that is 1 by cos x or we know that reciprocal of cos x is secant x right either we can use this 1 by cos x or secant x it depends upon the problem so we have integrating factor One by cos x or secant x. Now coming to the general solution of the given differential equation. Right. So we know that the general solution of a linear equation which is in standard form, that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. Now, using this, we can find the general solution to the given equation. Therefore, or the general solution of equation 1 is y into integrating factor secant x equals to integral q. For q equals to cos cube x into integrating factor Either you can write secant x or 1 by cos x. Since you are having cos cube x, you can write cos cube x as cos x whole cube. Right. So, if you take 1 by cos x in the place of IL, then 1 cos x gets cancelled. Right. Into dx plus c, which is equal to integral. Write this cos cube x as, we will simply split this cos cube x as cos x into cos square x by cos x into dx plus c. So, 1 cos x gets cancelled equals to integral cos square x dx plus c. Then, y secant x equals to integral since we know that cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. Then, cos 2 theta, take this minus 1 to a LHS and you will get plus 1 equals to 2 cos square theta. Then, cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2 equals to cos square theta, right? Now, we can replace cos square theta by cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2, okay? Since cos 2 theta equals to 1 by 2 times 1 plus cos, sorry, cos square theta. 
1 plus cos 2 theta. You'll get 1 by 2 times 1 plus cos 2 x, right? Into dx plus c. is equals to now you can take this constant outside the integral you'll get 1 by 2 into integral 1 plus cos 2x into dx plus c is equals to 1 by 2 into integral 1 dx plus integral cos 2x dx plus c is equals to 1 by 2 times integral 1 dx is integral dx plus integral cos 2x dx plus c. This becomes 1 by 2 times since integral dx is x plus Integral cos 2x. Since we know that integral cos x dx equals to 1 by a into sine ax. Okay. 1 by a sine x. So you can write this as sine 2x by 2 plus integral constant c. Right. Here you are having sine 2x, right? Since we know that sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cos theta. So, we'll replace sine 2x by 2 sine x cos x. Then this becomes y secret x equals to 1 by 2 times x plus 2 sine x into cos x by 2 plus c. 2 gets cancelled which is equals to x plus sine x into cos x 1 by 2 plus c. Or you can write this as x plus sine x into cos x by 2 plus c. Now take the LCM of these two terms. We will get y secant x equals to x plus sine x into cos x plus 2c by LCM 2. Now get this to 2. LHS you will get 2y secant x equals to x plus sin x cos x plus 2c. Since c being constant you can write 2c as c. Then 2y secant x equals to x plus sin x into cos x plus c. Which is the required general solution. Right? So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.